Hey guys, today we're making a HelloFresh meal. This is a jammy fig and brie grilled cheese with arugula mushroom salad. Here's what that looks like. Here's all the instructions and the ingredients. You're going to need a baking sheet, a large pan, a large bowl, olive oil, and butter. We're going to preheat the oven to 400. And uh, here is what is in uh, the box. So we've got two packages of arugula. We've got some uh, rosemary. We've got some white mushrooms. We've got a good chunk of brie. That's a lot. Oh, okay. crap. Um, we've got some bread. I don't know what kind of bread this is. I guess it says, right? It's whole wheat. Okay. Yeah. Whole wheat bread. And now we've just got some balsamic vinegar. And I'm guessing this is, yeah, fig reserves. All right. So after preheating the oven to 400, I'm going to strip off the rosemary um, and chop it up. And I'm going to thinly slice the mushrooms. Uh, I'm going to put the mushrooms on the baking sheet with olive oil, salt, and pepper. And bake that for 12 to 15 minutes. Then I'm going to assemble my sandwiches. Alright, but let me get that started. Um, I forgot you're supposed to put the rosemary on the mushrooms, so that's what I've done. Alright, so I'm going to open these up. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut brie into thin slices. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the preserves and I'm going to spread fig jam on one side of the two slices of bread. That's like basically just enough for two slices. Okay. So I'm going to put um, brie on the jam side. So I'm just going to try and fill it as best as I can. Um, so basically I'm going to take a tablespoon of butter um, over medium low heat and I'm going to melt it in the pan and then get that started. I'll switch over to the other camera or the other uh, <clears throat> side so you can see what I'm doing. Okay as you can see I've put the sandwiches down and we're going to cook them four to five minutes on each side. Um, when the mushrooms are done I'm basically just going to make a salad which um uh, I'm just going to toss the mushrooms and the arugula and the balsamic vinegar and olive oil with salt and pepper in a bowl. I'll show you that, you know, when it's done. And uh, a tip 
um, for the sandwiches is to um, press down on them occasionally with the spatula um, so that the entire surface of the bread gets toasty and brown. So that's like literally pretty much it. Um, I'll show you, you know, the salad or whatever, but basically you're just making a salad. So uh, I'll show you again when I flip them over and then that's, that'll be about it. And uh, that's a really simple recipe. Yeah. Alright, here it is. Looks pretty ooey and gooey and pretty good. Alright, I'll be back to let you know what I think. Alright, I'm here to talk about the grilled cheese and salad. Uh, the salad was pretty basic. Um, I enjoyed having um, cooked the mushrooms and then put them in the salad. That was a nice uh, touch. I liked them with the rosemary too. I liked the rosemary in the salad. That was pretty good. I really loved the um, grilled cheese. It was so simple, you know, fig, jam, and, and brie or whatever. So much so that I really wish they gave us more fig jam so that I would have gone and I would have literally made another one right then and there if I had um, more fig jam. Uh, but I didn't. So. <laughs> Sadly not, um, but it was really good. I really liked the you know the mixture of the cheese and the sweetness from the fig jam. It was just just enough. It wasn't a whole lot of of um, you know sweetness. Um, so yeah, um, I very much enjoy uh, enjoyed it. Um, if you like brie um, and grilled cheese and fig like jam um, or like it didn't even taste like fig. You know, it's just like a hint of sweetness. If you like that kind of thing, you should definitely check this out and make this recipe. Alright, so thanks guys for watching. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!